In our day-to-day -day life, we repeat certain tasks like paying our electricity bills. The repetition of a set of statements in a program is called iteration. We can do this in Python programming with the help of for loop and while loop. In this session, let us learn the conditional loop, the while loop. While loop repeats the execution of a set of statements until a certain condition is true. Now, this is how our while loop works. It first checks if the condition is true. It will execute the block of statement and then check the condition again. So, this block of statements will keep on executing repeatedly until it is true. It will exit the loop. It finds that the condition is false. The syntax of while loop is while expression a set of statements. Now, in this, we need to remember that when we are operating on numbers, it is important to initialize the loop variable and then check if the condition is true or false. Now, in the block of statements that would execute when the condition is true, remember to update the loop variable. And this is when we are operating on numbers. If we don't update the loop variable when we are working on numbers, then there is a chance that this loop would turn out to be an infinite loop. Now, I'm going to explain a program with simple while loop where there is no control variable. I'm taking the password from the user and storing it in the variable password. Now, I'm checking if the password is secret or any other word. While the condition password not equal to secret is true, it will continue to ask you for the password. When the password is entered correctly as the word secret, it is going to come out and print you guess the password right. Let us run this program. So it is asking me for the password. Let me try password itself. It is not secret, so it is entering the while loop. Now, I am going to type another wrong password so that it repeats the while loop again. See, now I am going to enter the right password. In this case, the condition is false. So, it will not execute the statement which is password is equal to input enter the password. It's going to type, you guess the password. Now, this is the simplest form of while loop where we repeat the task again and again. Now, the second form of while loop is with the control variable. Now, here I am going to type the first four numbers. So, I am making use of a control variable and initializing this to zero. Now, in the while loop, I check the condition if i is less than 5. In that case, print i and remember to update the loop variable. Okay. So, the first time it is going to take the value 0. 0 is less than 5. So, it will print 0. Now, it is going to increment i by 1. So, taking the value 1, it enters the while loop again. 1 is less than 5. It will print 1. It increments i. Now, i is 2. 2 is also less than 5, it prints 2. It increments i, it becomes 3, comes back to the while, prints 3, increments i, now it becomes 4, 4 is also less than 5, it will print 4. Now once it increments i to 1 in this case, i becomes 5. Now 5 is definitely not less than 5, so it will not execute the block of statements which is here, it is going to exit the program. Upon running this program, you can see it is printing the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the example of while loop which makes use of control variable. With this, we come to the end of 
this session. I hope you have understood the use of while loop. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.